the point of this video is to prove that BitConnect is not a Ponzi scheme. And I promise you and guarantee you that you cannot have an argument after this video. So please stick through to the end before you can judge it one way or another or before you take a stance. We're going to look at the inner workings of how this system works. This is all strictly your money that you are earning from. Nobody else's. And so this system cannot fail the way it's set up. You're seeing some other companies open shop with the same type of model, but some other companies are promising a lot more. And I haven't had a chance to do a case study on them, do research and look into them, but I will. We have the option with BitConnect, for those who don't know what it is, to buy Bitcoin elsewhere, invest Bitcoin into the platform, so you deposit Bitcoin into your uh, wallet on the platform, and if you haven't used Bitcoin before, this is a perfect opportunity to start learning. It always takes something like this to push you and motivate you to learn how to transfer Bitcoin, how to buy it, and so on. I have videos on my channel about how to buy Bitcoin, how to sell it, and all that good stuff, so check them out if you need more info. We're going to jump right in now for you. So, when we deposit um, $100, and then we go and buy BitConnect with that $100 worth of Bitcoin that we transferred in, and then we're actually lending the BitConnect out. If we want to lend, these are the amounts we can lend. And this is the amount of time we get it back in. The more money you invest, the shorter the period of time is, and the sooner you get your capital back. It's kind of an incentive to invest more money. We're going to take a look at the $5,000 investment because it's about six months. It's easy to do the math. Is, are we investing... US dollars? No. Are we investing Bitcoin? No. Because we're buying BitConnect off of another user that wants to sell and cash out of the platform. We're buying those BitConnect with our Bitcoin and then we actually lend out the BitConnect. So it's it's measured in US dollars but you're actually giving them BitConnect. You're lending them your BitConnect. And that's very important when you start to look at how this works. Over here, I've done some math, and let's go over it now. I spelt it out black and white, so it should be understand what I'm saying. 179 days ago, you bought 5,010 US dollars worth of BitConnect token to place a loan. One BitConnect coin cost $6.05 at the time you bought the BitConnect coin. So 5,010 divided by $6.05 is equal to 828.099174 BitConnect coin. You follow me? So you get 828 a BitConnect coin for your five thousand dollars when you bought them. You're lending out five thousand dollars they're measuring it as and this is where it gets a little bit genius and uh, a little bit tricky. They are accepting your BitConnect coin but they're measuring the dollar value of that BitConnect coin when you gave it to them and they're giving you back a dollar amount. So if the BitConnect coin price changes they take that change, not you. You're getting dollar amount. So if the BitConnect coin price goes up, they're earning this increase because you loaned them your coins. They're going up. They're not giving you coins back. They're giving you US dollar amount in coins at the time they're giving them back to you. The price changed in those six months, so they made money off of your BitConnect coins just by the price rising. 
And so now I'll try to explain the math behind that. Where do we get 5,010? Well, that's your loan amount if you use dollar. Where do we get $6.05? We go to the BitConnect. Here we are at the charts. And $6.05 somewhere. That's why we're dividing your payment into $6.05 to see how many BitConnect coin you would have bought at that time because of the price of BitConnect coin at the time. And that is equal to 828.099 BitConnect coin that you would have bought and gave the platform at the time. You would have lent them out that money. Your capital was released. 179 days later and the price of BitConnect coin went up. You earn and are credited in US dollars so your US dollar did not go up in value but you gave them BitConnect coin so they would earn the spike in price <clears throat> while they have your BitConnect coins. You bought and lent them. Already before anything else they have made this off your investment purely due to BitConnect prices rising. Price of BitConnect coin 179 days after your loan when the US dollar amount that your BitConnect coin were worth is returned. Hot one BitConnect coin costs 153.8 US dollars. So if we go to the amount they release you your capital back and we see how much BitConnect coins they would have to give you to give you that worth back at the moment they're giving it to you as of the price of BitConnect coin at the moment they're giving it to you which is $153.8 if you look here today's price okay, somewhere along this line it's 158 and And you do the math, you realize that they give you back 32.55 BitConnect coin. That's a big difference from what you gave them initially. You see what this? Mind blowing. When you actually think about how this works, it is mind blowing. So. We then go on to our next mathematical problems. We found out what they gave you back. Now let's find out the difference. So, I won't worry about those decimal places. Actually, let's go like this. Just take two decimal, three decimal places. Not gonna let us do that. So eight, eight hundred twenty-eight point zero nine nine. That's initially how many coins you gave them. Let's see how much coins they gave you back. Thirty-two point five five seven. Thirty-two. Point five five seven. Let's see the difference. Let's see what they kept. Seven hundred and eighty five point five four two BitConnect coin they kept. Holy shit, right? Okay, that's how much they made off you. If you had kept those coins instead of giving them out, basically letting them have these coins, well, we got that number. We times that by 158, the current price of BitConnect coin.
So. They kept $125,000 viewers. What did they pay you out? Well, how do we find out what they gave you? Well, we know that you get about 40% per month. Up to 40% per month. It's more like 1% per day on average. So, let's do this as 1% per day when you invested initially that many big connect coin but it's going to be hard because big connect coin price changes over time so we can't really do one um, we can't just multiply it by one one price because the price is changing every day so let's try to go off the five thousand ten dollar uh, U.S. dollar amount. So if we take that and we say um, five thousand ten dollars. Um, times point zero one. So that's one times. That would be um, a tenth, and that would be one hundredth. So this will give you one percent, right? That's how much you're making per day. That's how much they give you per day. So. Times it was 179 days, right? What's that equal to? This is how much you've earned. Does that make sense? Because it does not make sense to me. What is 1% of 5,000? 50. 50 times 100. 50 times 10 is 550. Yeah, so times 179 days. Actually, It should be about double it should be about double your money by my math I did in my head that you're gonna make um, off of interest but then you get your capital back so it's three times your money overall so we can do it a couple ways we can do this We can do this 
um, that's one, <clears throat> or we can do the math in our head, which is basically, this is, this is how I get the math in my head. 1% times 30 days, right? One percent times thirty days is thirty percent. Times that by three for three months, that's ninety percent. Times that by two for six months, that's one hundred eighty percent. Right. So you're not making two two hundred percent. You're not making double. You're making under. So this math is right. This makes sense. So that's how much you earned. You can go like this. You earn this in interest. Right? Plus, plus, you get your initial investment back of 5000 Ten dollars. What does that equal? This is what they're giving you back. This is what they're giving you back. Altogether, what they give you, including your capital return. Which brings up a good point. You gotta pay capital gains taxes on this stuff because it's you're lending out your capital and you're gaining your profit, so whatever profit you earn you have to pay capital gains tax, which is about 25% of your income, which is fucking ridiculous. When people like um, Craig Grant made almost a million dollars on BitConnect, he's giving out $250,000. That's a lot of fucking money. That can buy you a fucking Ferrari, a Lamborghini, fuck's sakes sickening really what the government does to people. It's um, theft, it's robbery, and that is what the blockchain is changing and helping, and that is why I invest in this software, because I support this rather than the US dollar, and I am shaping the type of world I would like to live in, in the future. So this is what they're giving you, $13,000, and what did they make off of you? $125,000. This one thing proves to me, it should prove to you, that they're not paying you out with someone else's money, that they're not paying out more money than they have, they're making a shitload of money and they're giving you a small percentage of it and they can sustain this and maintain this system for as long as they want. It's profitable, they end it. This system is going to keep on going and keep on going. Plus, you're not actually lending them US dollars. So there are not as many uh, laws, limitations and restrictions and regulations on loaning and lending out bitcoins as there are US dollars. They measure your bitcoin and your bit connecting US dollars and that's it. You're giving them a token basically that is not yet uh, regulated as currency so there are no regulations that can destroy this platform. It is beautiful the way it's set up. This is one way that they make your money, that 1% that they promise you back. And now that I've done my research in this sense, I'm going to invest a little bit more in this platform because it is guaranteed. You do not have a guarantee 
that Bitcoin or BitConnect is going to go up over time. You don't have a guarantee that you're going to make 1% every day on BitConnect or Bitcoin, but you do on this platform. So it's a good uh, thing to put some of your money into and have a guaranteed income every month to pay your bills and stuff like that. You don't have to put everything in, but you're very smart if you put something in it and start taking advantage of this trend that is blowing up. Now, I just want to say that this video was about what you would make excluding the compound interest effect. There's a lot to cover with BitConnect. It's a big, big idea, big platform, and it does a lot of things. We're going to ex express compound interest and how much you earn off of that. We'll, we'll do a case study and see what different people have earned by doing different types of lending. There are ads all over the place for BitConnect now. They are doing well. They have a real legit company going. We've had people talk to them personally, do their research, and uh, we just keep finding out more and more every day that helps us gain confidence and faith. This is the inner workings of BitConnect, and uh, there's more I want to share with you, but this is all for, for today. This is enough. I'm Crypto Keith, and I'm off to the markets. Thank you.